Hello and welcome to VideoScript presented by Drugs.com. Today in the final of three presentations, we continue reviewing Zolpidem, a prescription medication used in the short term to help with insomnia or difficulty in falling and staying asleep. We will briefly look at issues related to important warnings with the use of Zolpidem. Severe allergic reactions known as anaphylaxis or angioedema have occurred rarely in some patients using Zolpidem. It is important to know how to recognize these rare allergic reactions. If swelling of the tongue or throat, difficulty in breathing, or nausea and vomiting should occur, these could be signs of an allergic reaction, which can be fatal. Emergency treatment, such as calling 911, will be required. Patients who have had an allergic reaction to Zolpidem should not use it again. Other unconventional and possibly dangerous side effects that may occur with Zolpidem include unusual behaviors. For example, patients may get up from bed while not being fully awake and engage in an activity but not remember doing that activity the next morning. Reported activities include driving a car, also known as sleep driving, making and eating food, talking on the phone, having sex, and sleepwalking. You have a higher chance of engaging in these activities if alcohol is consumed while using Zolpidem or if other medications that cause drowsiness are combined with Zolpidem. Do not take Zolpidem with other medications that cause drowsiness or with alcohol. Also, you should not take Zolpidem if you cannot get a full night's sleep of seven to eight hours. If a patient should learn from others that they have engaged in any of these activities after taking Zolpidem, they should immediately inform their healthcare provider, especially if they have no memory of the event. Sleep driving should always be reported. Other serious but infrequent reactions that may occur with Zolpidem include more aggressive behavior, confusion, agitation, or memory loss, hallucinations, worsening of depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts or action have also been reported. These psychiatric side effects may be more common if the prescribed dose is too high or if a patient exceeds the recommended dose. Do not take extra tablets of Zolpidem and contact your health care provider if these side effects should occur. Rebound insomnia may occur when you stop taking Zolpidem. With rebound insomnia, it may be more difficult to fall asleep after you stop taking Zolpidem, but this should subside in a few days. If you continue to have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, please contact your doctor. Thank you for joining us at Drugs.com for a brief review of Zolpidem. Please refer to our patient and professional information, drug interaction checker, and additional tools on drugs.com. Patients with a concern about the use of Zolpidem should consult with their healthcare provider. Visit drugs.com slash Zolpidem for more information.